The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap is a game I find among the best in the series, having the best art style of any game. The game is able to create mysteries that go unanswered due to lack of relevance, and nobody tries to answer them. One of these questions is where the Bakori came from. In the game's opening sequence, we learn that they descended from the sky and brought the Picori sword with them. Now, this info may need most to assume in that they left from Skyloft, but there's one piece of info we get. The door at the end of the game. This door was a portal to a different dimension for which the Picori came from. Now, I bet this makes you think this leaves us at a dead end. But no, it gives us just enough info to prove of what they are. They are none other than fairies. Now, I know this may seem a bit of a leap, but knowing they're from a different dimension, we can assume they're alternate versions of fairies. The reason I've come to this conclusion is the fact that I have some of the most powerful magic seen in the series, which is usually only matched by fairies' own magic. Usually a fairy's magic will rival that of the gods as they can use Gin's, Gin's Nehru's, and Faror's power, which usually it just leads them to be extremely powerful. But the Hikori are able to create the Magic Cap, which was a direct imitation of the Triforce being able to, to grant the user's great desire. Moving away from that point though, we can see that uh, most fairies can have a very different colour palettes. Vardy, who was born a Picori, had very different colour palettes compared to most of the other Picoris. This could be a direct example of differentiating colours, as the Picori usually stick to the same colours as most fairies do. But I want to point back to the alternate dimension again. As we've seen in Low Rule, you can have varying in different in amounts of colour palettes and colour changes and form changes if you're from a different dimension. As seen in Low Rule, it's completely different there. You can have completely different pal colour palettes, completely different, different monsters, completely different species that live there. It's not varied to just one thing. It can be completely different there. Yeah. So... The Picori just lived in a completely different dimension that was separate. They evolved differently to the fairies and they gained different abilities. Just because they're different doesn't mean exactly that they're the same species. But they are completely the same evolved species. They're from the same ancestors. Another point of evidence is Death Mountain, which housed the, once the Picori and the Great Fairy. Meaning that they both had the same call to go to the mountain. They both had the same ideas. Because they're the same species, that they have the same ideas as each other. They wanted to go to the mountain, so they went to the mountain. Now, with this game not having much theory potential in it for this specific topic, I would like to wrap up this video now. If you've watched this far, thank you. Consider subscribing. And I hope to see you again in the next video. But for now, goodbye, and I hope to see you all again.